Welcome back to another episode of Sands Fishing. On today's episode, I'm in the fresh water. I'm flicking for sooty grunter, uh, jungle perch, and the chance of a barra or a jack. It's sort of brackish water. I'm um, using surface. I'm using the Zeric Skittish Dog Top Water 85 mil. Um, yeah, so thanks to Lee Longs for supplying me with some surface lures. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks heaps, guys. Yeah, Lee Long's is a local tackle shop in Gordonvale. So go support your local tackle shop. Uh, Lee Long's are really good. Uh, Jason, who I spoke to today, gave me some tips and tricks of uh, flicking fresh water. So yeah, go down and support your local tackle shop. Thanks, guys. That is very steep. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh shit. <sighs> oh, made it. Sliding down on your bum's way easier. <laughs> Just gonna be a bit wary in here because I know there is crocs, but this water's super clear and I can pretty much see, you know, 50 meters around either way. It's really shallow too, so crocs probably won't be able to sneak up on me. Hopefully, we can sneak up on the fish though. Little jungle perch, I think. Yes. Nice jungle perch. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, he's jammed up in there. Man, he's a good jungle perch. Holy. For that first fish of the day, nice jungle perch on the surface. Where is it? There it is. That's it, the surface. Oh, there's fish, fish busting up in the background. Little Zarek. Top water. Holy, something's going on up there. But yeah, awesome fish to start the morning or start the start the day. Uh, I'll get a quick measure on him, and uh, yeah, we'll put him back. But. Massive gob on him.
Oh, got a hit. Yep, yep. Come on, up, 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 up. Nah, got me in there, got me in there. Get me out, get me out. Nah, he's stuck. Oh, it got him. Yes. Oh, nah, he's stuck again. Come on, get out of there. Looking sideways, a little sooty. It's heaps of other ones. Oh, gone. Gone. It's heaps of other ones just waiting there for him. Oh no, I've just hooked him sideways. <laughs> oh, it's a little, little jack. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, look how pretty he is. Oh, gorgeous. The, um, I got the sooty, and then it was the next cast this guy grabbed it. They, um, they're pretty aggressive. You know, they say that best time to catch a fish is just after you caught one and that was the example right there just just look at him he's beautiful he'd be the perfect little fish tank jack <laughs> that's for sure i'd love to take him but obviously you can't do that but um yeah the zeric skittish dog did it again smashed it off the surface the skittish dog is nearly half the length of the fish so very aggressive but we'll uh put him back This is a good fish. This is a good fish. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a jack. Oh, it's a tarp on. <laughs> oh no, it's a trevally. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Wonder why he friggin' smoked me. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> I was a bit worried there. He was right up in the sticks. That's sick. Look at that. <laughs> He's a good size too. Check that guy out. Didn't realize they come this far upstream. 
So originally I thought he was a barra just the way he buffed it off the surface but he pretty much reefed me right in the snag, so I was so unsure what it was. I seen silver, so I thought maybe a tarpon, but he was just rubbing me in the sticks. You would have heard that. It was just, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna get him out, but how hard he hit and how quickly he ran, yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be a good jack or a good tarpon, but yeah, check that out. That is bloody wicked. Never caught. A giant trevally this far upstream the water's fresh here um a little bit further starts to get a bit more brackish we'll put him back and uh we'll keep heading down <laughs> 